In this paper, we present an in-hand manipulation approach that exploits the reachability knowledge from the mechanics of pushing. It's not always possible to pick up an object in a pose that is immediately useful. We are interested in enabling robots, even those with simple grippers, to regrasp an object in hand by pushing it against the environment. By regrasping, robots can use objects very effectively at the desired applications. Given an initial grasp and a goal grasp, we want a robot to plan a sequence of pushes to force the object to the goal. One of the key challenges when planning such pushing strategies is to characterize which object motions are feasible considering the underactuation of friction contact. In this work, we show that it's possible to estimate the set of feasible object motions in the form of a motion cone. Using motion cones as reachability bounds directly in the configuration space, we develop a fast and efficient in-hand manipulation planner. A variant of motion cone was introduced by Matt Mason for pushing an object on a horizontal plane with a point pusher. A motion cone is the set of motion twists that a pusher can induce on the object using a friction contact. In our work, we extend this idea to a general set of planar pushing tasks where external forces alter the dynamics of pushing and contact interactions can be more complex. For example, when pushing an object on an inclined plane or in a grasp, not only the pusher force but also the gravitational force has an influence on the object motion. Our paper describes an analytical approach to compute motion cones. Here we present a graphical intuition. Let's consider a representative case. An object in a parallel jaw grasp is pushed by a line pusher. The configuration space is three-dimensional, since the object can translate in the XC plane and rotate about the Y axis. We model the force motion relationship at the finger contacts using a limit surface, which is the integration of friction wrenches over the finger contact. For a wrench on the boundary of the limit surface, the object slides at the fingers, and the direction of sliding is given by normal to the limit surface. When the combination of the set of all possible wrenches from the pusher and the gravitational wrench intersect the boundary of the limit surface, it defines the set of finger wrenches for possible object motions. The normal to the limit surface at this intersection provides the set of motions that the pusher can induce on the object. This set is a cone defined by low curvature surfaces and this is the motion cone. Any object motion inside the motion cone respects the dynamics of frictional pushing. The motion cones in general abstract the dynamics of contact manipulations and can be used for simulation, planning and control. In this paper, we explore their application for planning in hand manipulations in a sampling based planning framework. Specifically, we use the reachability bounds from the motion cones to propagate an exploration tree. Instead of solving the complex dynamics of pushing to reach the sampled grasp configurations, we project those configurations on the motion cones and grow the tree via the motion cones. A path in this tree provides a pushing strategy to move the object to the goal grasp. Here are examples of regrasp strategies generated by our planner. The planner took a fraction of a second to generate these plans while doing online computation of motion cones. This is an order of magnitude faster compared to our prior work where we explicitly solve for pushing dynamics every time. Moreover, since the motion cones encode the knowledge of all feasible pushes, the planner exploits it to take more direct strategies towards the goal. We believe that using motion cones as reachable regions directly in the configuration space is a powerful idea for contact-based manipulations. This reachability knowledge opens a window to see the connectivity of the configuration space and use it for fast and efficient planning and control.